Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start at least on my review of My Sister, The Serial Killer by Iinkum Braithwaite. So as always, I'm going to read you the blurb, then I'm going to go through and check out some of my tabs, and then I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So, Dane reads... When Karede's dinner is interrupted one night by a distress call from her sister, Ayula, she knows what's expected of her. Bleach, rubber gloves, nerves of steel, and a strong stomach. This will be the third boyfriend Aul has dispatched in self-defence, and the third mess that her lethal little sibling has left Karede to clear away. She should probably go to the police for the good of the menfolk of Nigeria, but she loves her sister and, as they say, family always comes first. Until that is, Aula starts dating the doctor where Karede works as a nurse. Karede has long been in love with him and isn't prepared to see him wind up with a knife in his back, but to save one would mean sacrificing the other. It has a pretty solid start here, just starts with a chapter called Words. Ayula summons me with these words. Karede, I killed him. I'd hoped I would never hear those words again. I just thought this was an interesting little paragraph. Some of the blood has seeped into the lining of the boot. Ayula offers to clean it out of guilt, but I take my homemade mixture of one spoon of ammonia to two cups of water from her and pour it over the stain. I don't know whether or not they have the tech for a thorough crime scene investigation in Lagos, but Ayula could never clean up as efficiently as I can. So they first, they, to get rid of the body, they gather supplies. How many bed sheets do we need? How many does he have? Ayula ran out of the bathroom and returned, armed with the information that there were five sheets in his laundry cupboard. I bit my lip. We needed a lot, but I was afraid his family might notice if the only sheet he had was the one laid on his bed. For the average male, this wouldn't be all that peculiar, but this man was meticulous. His bookshelf was arranged alphabetically by author. His bathroom was stocked with a full range of cleaning supplies. He even bought the same brand of disinfectant as I did. And his kitchen shone. I always seemed out of place here, a blight in an otherwise pure existence. Well, I mean, I have multiple bed sheets, and my books are alphabetical by author surname. But other than that, I'm not that meticulous. I have all of the cleaning products, but that's because I have a cleaner, she uses them. And my kitchen isn't spotless at the moment because she called off sick this week because she had COVID. A great line here, it takes a whole lot longer to dispose of a body than to dispose of a soul, especially if you don't want to leave any evidence of foul play. And I like this little line here under the chapter called Mascara. My hand isn't steady. You need steady hands when you're applying makeup, but I'm not used to it. There never seemed to be much point in masking my imperfections. It's as futile as using air freshener when you leave the toilet. It just inevitably ends up smelling like perfumed shit. And this is a line where she says, I console myself with the knowledge that even the most beautiful flowers wither and die. And a reference as well to how tidy her room is. And it says that her clothes are sorted by uh, colour. And that's like, again, meant to be a signifier that she's a very tidy person. My clothes are sorted by colour. I'm not tidy. I just like to be efficient. I like to be able to go straight into the wardrobe and go red t-shirt. Yoink. So I thought this was interesting, especially because I read this just before going to visit Jim Morrison's grave. So, um... We are hardwired to protect and remain loyal to the people we love. Besides, no one is innocent in this world. Why, go up to your maternity ward. All those smiling parents and their newborns. Murderers and victims, every one of them. The most loving parents and relatives commit murder with smiles on their faces. They force us to destroy the person we really are. A subtle kind of murder. That's quite... I can't complete the sentence. The words trouble me. It's a quote by Jim Morrison. I cannot lay claim to such wisdom. Hmm... Yeah, and then we have a little essay towards the end, a little mini essay on my inspiration to be a writer and I thought this was interesting because any writer has been through this, you know. One of my first stories was about a beautiful young woman with long flowing hair who walks into a forest clearing and kills herself to the horror of the trees, the grass and the wind. I remember my parents calling me downstairs and sitting me down. They asked me if everything was okay. They checked that I wasn't sad, I wasn't a victim of bullying, that my mental health was sound. They were baffled by this jovial child of theirs who seemed to like to write stories about women who committed suicide or were committed into mental institutions. The world of fiction, of fantasy, has always drawn me and probably always will. And it is nice to know that the child who found stories of people behaving badly entertaining is still thriving within me. So yeah, My Sister the Serial Killer by Iinkum Braithwaite. Overall, I gave this kind of like a weak 4 out of 5. I do think it was a little bit overhyped, but um, definitely some interesting things here. It's quite unique, or not unique, but quite unusual for a young adult book, I would say. Um, there's stuff in here that's quite, I don't know, brutal in some respects. I mean, once you've read as much horror as I have, you, you start to like, you become numb to this kind of stuff. But if you weren't used to you know, murder and all of that stuff. You might be a little shocked by some of the stuff in it. I quite enjoyed some of the bits about like how, you know, how to clean blood up and stuff like that. Overall, it was an interesting little read. I'm glad I picked it up. Uh, if you're thinking about reading it, definitely do. Otherwise, I don't know if I'd necessarily go out of my way for it. But uh, yeah, that's, that's what there is. 
So yeah, there we have it. That's what I made of my sister, the serial killer by I Income Braithwaite. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.